Okay, when do we actually use division in real life? Well, we use division whenever we're trying to split things into equal sized groups. And now, just like with multiplication, I put some square quotes into this. Later on, we might strain the definition of groups. Okay, so what are some examples of those times? Okay, maybe we're putting objects into containers of a given size. Uh, what does that mean? Um, let me be more specific. Maybe soda comes in six packs and I want to buy 72 cans of soda. How many six packs should I buy? Well, so that'll be 72 cans divided by six cans per pack. We can go ahead and use the calculator for this division. 72 divided by six is 12 packs. Another time we might use division is, well, if we're splitting something. So for example, suppose we have 24 party guests and 96 slices of pizza, and we ask, how many slices of pizza should each guest get, right? Assuming that we want every guest to get the same number of slices of pizza, we would take 96 slices divided by 24 guests and we would get 96 divided by 24 is 4 slices per guest. The key thing to be aware of in division applications is that you can be told either how many groups you'll have, as in this case, or how many items in each group, as in this case. Either one of those is a job for division.